Well, it's been a little while since we've talked to our OSU Extension Beef Cattle Specialist, Dr. Dave Lawman. And Dave, for those fall calving operations, you know, there you have some guidance that can help them get through this drought as we head into the spring. Sure, uh, and and you know, severe conditions persist in western part of the state, uh, and so there are a, a fewer fall calving operations in that part of the state, but there are a considerable number of those. And yes, if you know, we can use this concept of weaning a little early uh, to save substantial amount on the forage requirements for the entire cow herd. So you, you have some calves right here that you said that were weaned about a week ago, right? Yeah, we uh, weaned them last week. So how do you go about managing that to kind of make it, you know, it's a, like you said, it's a lot earlier than what producers are usually used to. In a fall calving operation, it's very common to wean later rather than earlier than the traditional 205 days or 210 days. Uh, many uh, fall calving operations in Oklahoma would wean, you know, June, some push it all the way up to the middle of July and make those steer calves. I mean, it's a logical thing to do. Those steer calves, it's easy management, but they'll weigh over, well over 700 pounds in many cases. Uh, but, you know, this year we just, in those operations to the west, we just don't have the forage abundance availability, at least not at this point in time. And so if they can be weaned, let's say, right away here, that basically would give you the month of April May and June, where the cow herd is consuming somewhere around 20 to 25 percent less forage. And therefore, you know, you could either take, and that, that winds up being a, about, on an average size cow, around six pounds of forage a day. For 90 days, uh, that amounts to nearly one acre less of, of native rangeland required for a cow herd for this entire coming year. So that's a substantial savings and should, should be one strategy to help people kind of get through uh, the current drought situation. Yeah, and that's you know definitely gonna be useful, but hopefully we get some more rain so it's not something that to be too concerned about. So yeah. for the calves, you know, what, what nutritional requirements, since you're weaning so early, what, what would they require to you know, be healthy? Yeah, and that's, that's the challenging part of using that early weaning strategy. You, you know, producers are either going to need to sell their calves right away or come up with some sort of a, of a retained ownership program, which includes a nutritional management. Now, a lot of people wouldn't have, you know, feed bunks and pens and, and some way to mix a ration. But if you just think about from a, at least a theoretical standpoint, if we're gonna reduce the forage intake of the cow herd by as much as six pounds a day, we can take that six pounds and apply it directly to the calves instead of running it through the cow herd if we choose to retain ownership for a few more weeks or months. Uh, and then that six pounds plus some purchased concentrate feeds like dried distiller's grains or corn, a combination of the two along with a little bit of, of supplement, uh, those calves can make economical weight gain. You know, it has me curious, you know, if the situation stays the same, hopefully it won't, you know, heading into the fall for those spring calving operations, is this something that's going to be applicable to them? Same principle. So really quickly, last week we had Dr. Paul Beck on talking about blow. There was a, you know, some severe cases that had popped up in the state. Yeah. So, you know, kind of what's the situation happening there? Well, I, you know, I, it seems to have died down. This is generally what happens is when we have these storms of bloat, you know, they occur rapidly and then and then generally, you know, they'll they'll just kind of dissipate rapidly too. And so you actually have the you're starting back up the Rancher's Lunchtime series, uh, you know, this is what year year 3 for that? Uh, year 3 and this is uh, series number 14. This series continues to focus on trying to find ways to help folks. The topic next Thursday will be using summer annuals to help replenish some of that uh, forage inventory. Alrighty, thanks Dave. Dr. Dave Lawman, Extension Beef Cattle Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a link to the Luncher's Ranch Time Series, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.